सो हे गाइस व्हाट्स अप हेज एंड टुडे आई एम गोना बी टीचिंग यू हाउ टू क्रिएट स्मूथ जूम आउट रोटेशन इन आफ्टर इफेक्ट इंस्पायर्ड बाय स्टेफलर The link to the project file that I'm currently using will be in the description below. There are some important tips at the end of the video, so stay with me till then. This tutorial is divided into four parts: rotations, scale, warp, and camera movements. This is my problems. 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 For rotations, select your clip, press R to open up the rotation panel and add a keyframe at the start and change its value to minus 25. After that, go to the last frame and change its value to 25. Now select the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them and go to the graph editor. If you haven't watched my graph tutorial then watch it it will help you understand the graphs we got to create a fast slow fast graph so follow me for scale you need to add a null object above your clip Now get it to the size of your clip and paint with your clip like this. Now press S to open up the scale panel, add a keyframe at starting and set its value between 160 to 200. After that go to the last frame and change its value between 16 to 70. You can add a keyframe in between to get a better control while editing the graph. Now select the keyframes press F9 to easy ease them and go to the graph editor. We want the first part fast to slow and the second part slow to fast. Overall fast slow fast. Now add an adjustment layer and get it to the size of your clip. After that add warp to it. Now change the style to fish eye and animate pen. At last frame change its value to minus 100. Now go four frames backward and change its value to 0. Now select the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them and go to the graph editor. Now create a slow to fast curve but it should be smooth not tight. For camera movement add one more null object below the adjustment layer. Now get it to the size of your clip and pair it with the null object below it. Now let's say you want the camera to zoom in a little bit here. Add a marker by pressing star. Now add a scale keyframe at the starting. Go 3 4 frames forward from this marker and change the value between 110 to 115. Now select the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them and go to the graph editor. Now select the speed graph and create a mountain with its peak at the marker. Just don't stretch it too much. Now do the same thing for the position that we did for the scale to shift the clip little bit like I am doing. Just don't do the camera movement for every single clip or it will look weird. Now at last what you can do is add twitch to every transition watch my twitch tutorial or my goshek tutorial to see how i add twitch now i recommend adding rsmb for that you need to select everything except the audio layer and then precompose them with these settings after that add rsmb to it 
Now that's it for this tutorial. If you have any tutorial request or any idea for the content then you can comment it down below. Check out my other tutorials and MVs. If this video helps you then make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Stay home, stay safe, see you in the next video, Neko signing out.